to solve an equation like this, we're going to need to find the value of x, or in other words, get x by itself algebraically. So what, to do that, we're going to undo what's been done to x kind of in reverse of our regular order of operations. So first, I'm going to get rid of this 17. I can cancel out the 17 from the left-hand side of the equation by subtracting it. Now, you see that there's a subtraction on the left-hand side, but it's not the 17 that's being subtracted. It's the 3x which is being subtracted. So to get rid of a positive 17, we need to take away 17. So I'm going to subtract 17 on each side of this equation. And that's going to result in 17 minus 17 does cancel out. Then I get a negative 3x is equal to 10 minus 17, which is negative 7. Now, the remaining operation, which is being done to x, is being multiplied by negative 3. To undo that, I'm going to divide by negative 3. If I do it on one side, I have to do it on the other. Negative 3 over negative 3 cancels, leaves you with just x. And negative 7 over negative 3, because they're both negative, is going to give me a positive 7 over 3. And if I make that into a mixed number, 3 goes into 7 two full times and one third. So I'm proposing that x is equal to 7 thirds, which is equivalent to 2 and 1 thirds. Which, uh, which of those you use as your answer will depend on the situation. Let's just do a quick check to, to verify that this works out. In order to check, I'm going to use the improper fraction will probably be easier. We'll see why in a second. And I'm going to take that version. I'm going to plug it back into my original equation and make sure that it works out. So this becomes 17 minus um, 3 times 7 over 3. The threes cancel nicely. And this is like 17 minus 7, which of course is equal to 10. So the answer does check out. Thank you.